Calling attention is different this week. We have something very special lined up for you. 20 questions from me. It's the World Cup Cricket Quiz. Coming up. I still enjoy asking quiz questions. So we've got 20 questions in the special quiz on World Cup Cricket. I'll ask the question. Then give you a little bit of time to think, then I'll go on to the next question. The first of 20 questions, here we are. Two Australians are the only players who have appeared in four World Cup finals, 96, 99, 2003 and 2007. One of these two Australians is Glenn McGrath. Who is the other? Four World Cup cricket finals. Legendary. Batsman. Number two. Shankar Mahadevan. Composed the official song for the 2011 World Cup. Who's composed the song for this year's World Cup? The music composer. You his name. The third question of this World Cup cricket quiz. Which legendary opening batsman scored his only ODI century at the age of 38? 1987 World Cup match against New Zealand. He was 38. A legendary opening batsman. Give us his name. Let's move on to number four. In 1983, when Kapil Dev scored 175 not out, who scored a half century for Zimbabwe and also took three wickets for Zimbabwe? I'll give you a clue. His sons represent a different team in international cricket today. Give me the name of the Zimbabwean player. Number five in this cricket quiz, Simon Toffel. The great cricket umpire officiated his first World Cup final match in 2011. He made his debut in 1999. What prevented him from officiating in the earlier World Cup finals? He was such a good umpire. Why didn't he officiate a final in the first 12 years? All right. Number six, after watching a World Cup match affected by rain in 1992, renowned commentator Christopher Martin Jenkins said on radio, this is what he said, surely someone somewhere could come up with something better. This comment led to the invention of what system in cricket? Remember, this was a rain affected match. Give us the name of the system. Number seven in this special World Cup cricket quiz here. We go, which country's cricket board providing the Sri Lankan cricket board funds to hire Dav Watmore as a coach of their 1996 World Cup winning squad? So Sri Lanka hired Dav Watmore. Which country's cricket board paid the fees for Dav Watmore? That was number seven. I hope you're having fun. Number eight, Ame Kurasia was a part of the 1999 World Cup squad. He didn't play any match. But he was the first cricketer who represented India in international cricket, Kurasia. Was he a doctor? The first cricketer to have cleared his UPSC? The first cricketer who was an MP? Or the first cricketer who was an MLA? Kurasia. Doctor, UPSC, MP, MLA. You have your choices. Let's move on to number eight Hindi firms in the Hindi firm 83. Taganarayan Chandrapal. Son of the cricketer Shiv Narayan Chandrapal played the role of which left handed batsman from the West Indies? I'll give you a clue. Not his father. He didn't play the role of his father Shiv Narayan Chandrapal. He played the role of another left handed batsman from the West Indies. Give us the name of the batsman. That's number nine. Here comes number ten. Which Indian all rounder was part, who was part of the 1999 World Cup squad? Was born in Trinidad. Give me the name of the Indian all rounder born in Trinidad, 1999 World Cup team for India. Let's move on. The cricket quiz. I'm having fun. The film Chet Kuli Ki Me Kuli is the story of a child who finds a magical piece of cricketing equipment used by a legend during the World Cup, whose bat was the centerpiece of the story. Give us the name. Whose bat? Obviously, it was. It was fictional. The whole 
the film, but it was based on real life. Who's that? Number 12, which legendary cricketer was banned from the 2003 World Cup for testing positive for a diuretic? Yes, banned in 2003 World Cup for testing positive for a diuretic. I hope you're having fun answering these questions. We have 20 questions in the World Cup cricket quiz. Here's number 13. Who won a winner's medal in the 2003 World Cup final without batting or bowling in the final match? Who won a winner's medal without batting or bowling in the final match? 2003. Let's get a move on. Number 14. He is captaining his country in the 2003 World Cup. I beg your pardon. He is captaining his country in the 2023 World Cup. 2023. He was also the captain in the 2011 World Cup for his country. Which cricketer has this unique honor? This time and more than a decade ago. Give me the name of the cricketer. Number 15. At the end of the 2015 World Cup, you should get this. What did the following cricketers all do? Sangakara, Jayawardene, Afridi, Ms. Bawal Haq, Michael Clark, Brad Haddon, Daniel Vittori and Kyle Mills. Kyle Mills. What did they all do at the end of that World Cup? Easy one. You should get this. Now number 16. When India chose to play Rahul Dravid as the wicketkeeper in the 2003 World Cup, who, initially chosen as a specialist wicketkeeper, missed out? This is like a... You need a helmet. You a bouncer. Who is a specialist wicketkeeper who missed out? You know, this bat here also has a story, but I'm not going to disturb you from the quiz. We're going to stay on the quiz, tell you the story about the bat in another episode. Here comes number 17. Which is the only country to win World Cups in both the 60 over format and the 50 over format? Only one country has won the old 60 over format and the 50 over format. Give us the name of the country. That's number 17. Here comes number 18. What was unique? about Chaminda Vas's hat-trick against Bangladesh in the 2003 World Cup. He took a hat-trick, Chaminda Vas, but what was unique about that hat-trick against Bangladesh in the 2003 World Cup? Should I give you a clue? No, I won't give you a clue. Okay, number 19. The 1992 World Cup was the first to have introduced three new features. One, white cricket ball. Two, day-night matches. What was the third innovation? White ball, day-night matches. What was the third innovation? And finally, the last question here on this cricket quiz here on calling attention. Who, unfortunately, is the only member of the 1983 World Cup winning team from India who passed away? And they say he was actually the fittest spoken to some of the members of that team and they say it's really ironical that he passed away first because he was the fittest. Well, thank you for joining us on this World Cup Cricket Quiz. Keep enjoying the cricket. I'm not watching too much of the cricket. I don't know why. I'm a little distracted maybe. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy playing with us this World Cup Cricket Quiz.